And we're back. Hey. Hello, Nick. How are you getting on? W where are we today? Uh, we're just on the M1 going to Barnsley, Oakwell. And what is this video? Life on the road. This is Life on the Road, episode one. We're back for a new season. Familiar faces. Mr. Rob Young, aka Bert. Say hello, Bert. Going? Hello, Bert. Everybody's missed you, Bert. I've missed everyone. Oh. Everyone's not here, so... No, what, why is it, it's just so empty today. We've, seems, lost, we've lost a lot of faces. Seems a bit depleted. You know, we're not even doing Alan's predictor, are we, Alan? Yeah, I lost my face, but I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's with us, as ever. How are you going? We're doing, we're doing all right. So we've got Nick with us today. Ken at the back, yeah. reading as you look. Steve, say hello, Steve. All right. And, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that's about it. We'll start, we'll start, we'll start today with... Preston's love life. Have you got, you got any stories for us this week, Nick? Uh, not too much. I had two girls on the go this week. Two girls? <laughs> two girls on the go. Two girls. And what happened? <sighs> Come on. What, one of them works for Love Films, and the other one works as like a barmaid in Reynards in town. Speak up, though, when you tell us Like Reynards in town. Yeah. So, not too bad. And what, what happened with them? One I was meant to meet yesterday, but no show. So we went in onto the down in Reynards. Um, well, we didn't want it to spit in his food, so we didn't have no to eat. <laughs> it was going to get a bouquet of flowers, weren't you, Nick? Yeah, that went down the swan. Yeah, the romantic, but it went what? That went down the swan. Our favourite colours are blue and pink, but that went down the swan. <laughs> so, oh. and then this one from Love Films, she's alright. And how's that going? Not too bad. What's his name? <laughs> no, her name's Cassandra, but I think that's short for like Rad Vinger or something. Sandra, she was married to uh, Rodney. Rodney yeah. Yeah. Have you got a tip yeah, of the week? Dating tip of the week? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he raised an eyebrow. A dating tip of the week. This is Stuart who won. He's a new member of the Coach One Laws. Um, he's, he doesn't like to speak much, but he's part of the, he's part of the group. Say hello, Stu. Just a quick hello. He's reading the paper there. Dating tip of the week. Right, one off me head. Because to finish last season, we had the shoes yeah, with the, yeah. rim, the rims. Yeah, the grenades. And the grenades. grenades. You don't like a grenade, Chloe? What do you do? Uh, <laughs> you call them a grenade and they go boom. Bang. Bang. Um, dating tip of the week. I can't think of one. Though, really. well, we'll come back to you because Bert is he's itching to get in on this video. This is Rob Young's tip of the week. What have we got, Bert? Come on, uh, for they, all our listeners, Alex Salmon, eat your heart out. Horse racing. Horse racing. Doncaster, 205. Creosote. It's great over fences. <laughs> That's my tip. That's the tip. That's the first tip of the week. So, it should come in. So, it should come in. We've got any predictions? Should we do some predictions? We've got a prediction for tonight's game. It's Barnsley versus Leicester City, but Oakwell. Three o'clock the off. New signing Jermaine Beckford making his debut. Yeah. I think he'll score. I think we'll win 3 0. 3 0, clean sheet. What about uh, the racist? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. 1 0, Sol Bowen scored for his guy. 1 0? Yeah. Nick, you got a prediction? Um, 4 1. 4 1. Stu, do you, you want to have your prediction? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Alan, do you want to give us a prediction for today? Well, um, it was a Desmond against the trees, weren't it? Um, we want to do better than that, so... <laughs> Desmond Tutu. <laughs> Desmond Tutu, got it. I got it as well. Um, Very good. <laughs> yeah. Um, Toex nil, Foxes three. Oh, talking in rhyming style. So. Scorers, score Alan. Scorers. We don't do the predict um, anymore, so this is a video. Andy King will get his first goal of the season. Yeah. Because that was your best moment of last season, Alan. Andy King's goal it at Derby. Indeed, yeah. as, as all the viewers of Life on the Road will know. Yeah. Uh, Beckford, yes, maybe. And uh, Jermaine Jolson, is it Jolson? Jolson. Fernandez. Fernandez. Yes. yes. And. Uh, and Ken, Ken, Ken's with us today. Have you got a uh, non league ground of the week, Ken? Because you've been about, haven't you, Ken, yes, this week? Yes, yes. Um, 
Well, while um, England were playing Wales and Wembley, and 77,000 Hardy fans went to watch that 1 0 boring game. Yep. And Earnshaw's miss of the. Uh, miss of the millennium. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of I if you missed it. Uh, <laughs> I, I was at uh, uh, Wickham Wanderers, Johnson's Paint Trophy, demolished the gas heads 3 1. <laughs> um, 771. Uh, fans Ooh. attended that game. What was the atmosphere like at Adams Park? The atmosphere Park? was brilliant around me. We had lots to talk about. What about the facilities? About are... Leicester. The facilities are very good. Facilities yeah, good? I like the ground, yeah. You missed a penalty shoot at JPT. Should have gone to that one? Yeah, there was a lot of them later yeah, on. Pizza. Meat feast. Oh, last night's uh, dinner saved, I suspect. Steve, got any, any more to add to this video, Steve? I think we're going to lose 2-1. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's put it down. That's put, oh, oh, oh. Watch of the week is... Watch of the week is the Inbetweeners movie this week. Movie review? Have you seen it, Nick? Oh, it's quality. Yeah? Out of 10, give it an 8.5. The funniest bit is where Will, uh, Will loses his glasses and this man and woman are, you know what, and he falls on them to find his glasses. And next week's watch is got to be Friends with Benefits. Friends with Benefits. Right, well, amazing. My prediction is 2-0 um, to Leicester today. Two, two, two for Beckford, two for Beckford, two for Beckford, and uh, Schmeichel will probably save a penalty. <laughs> And we've got the 20 nugget challenge as well. Again, again, sorry, Nick. We've got the 20 chicken McNuggets challenge. Well, I, I, I'm going up to 100 now, so well, if anyone tell wants everybody to see about it, what this is, Nick. Well, I've been watching this show on telly called Man vs. Food, and he tries and eats as much food as he can in so and so time. So, like that pizza, he'd probably have 30 pieces of pizza in, what, 25 minutes? I managed eight last night. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have 100 nugs. 20 minutes. That's pretty impressive, Nick. And then get a McDonald's t shirt with I done the 100 nub challenge. Oh, yeah. You know what we're Stop in today, anybody. It's a, nice, it's a quite a nice day outside. Sun's trying to break through. Um, how many fans are we taking there? About 2,000? 2,300, Ken. Very, very precise indeed. Not bad, bad to quid. No, exactly. Uh, next up, Cardiff City away. Uh, Carlin Cup third round. But you're, you're missing this one, aren't you? You're going to be suddenly missed. Have you not got a, a, an advanced tip of the week? It's not a new week, though. Yeah. Not a new week yet, so we're going to have to wait for it, aren't we? I'll, tell you, I'll teleport my message to my, my beloved. Because, Chloe, you're, you are going to be a member of the coach ones. You will... You, well, yeah. that, is very, that is very good. Um, well, we've got two minutes left of this video. <laughs> two minutes. Sorry? An attendance prediction, whoever comes closest. Yeah. My attendance prediction for today is 16,203. 14,792. Chloe? Okay, 13,813. Nick? I'll just go 11 and a half. 11,500? Yep. Steve, attendance prediction for today? Uh, 2,300. <laughs> what, for the whole ground, Steve? Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just for us then. Just for, just us. for us. What about you, Ken? An overall attendance? 15,000. Spot on, 15,000. <laughs> Alan? And Alan? Attendance prediction. 13,298. Where did that come from, Al? I don't know. Alan, you've got, you've got you've got your lucky shirt on today, Al. Look at that. Do you want to tell people about about this shirt and its value? The value is yes. uh, it's about 39 value. quid, isn't it? Well, it's mm. indispensable. Ah. 39.99. Um, mm. You can't put a price on it because we haven't lost since I've worn this. Keep Whoa. it up, then, Al. Keep it up. And uh, we, we always win at Oakwell, usually. And this has been freshly washed. 2 0 last season. For a very good reason. <laughs> Tell us the reason, Alan. <laughs> um, um, well. <laughs> something to do with air freshness. Let's put it that way. 
<laughs> Alan, we've got 20 seconds left of this video. Yes. Uh, we need Alan's final say oh my God. of episode one. Alan's final say. Think of something unique. We don't want to end up in hospital. The FA have opened a new range of opticians and it's called Respect Savers. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we've been episode one. Adieu. Thank you. See you Bye -bye. next time. See you next time. Thank you.